Welcome to Sherry's Corner. Welcome if you're new. Tonight's video is going to be three meals. What well, I'm just going to be three little picker, pictures because remember, <laughs> I'm still trying to learn all this camera stuff. And so the crock pot chicken, you're only going to get a picture of when I put it in there, a picture when it was done, and then a picture of the meal. So I, I don't know what I did, but you know, it is what it is, but I, I will at least give you those clips. Then I made chicken noodle soup from the leftover chicken with that. Oh, that's so yummy. And then I also made a chili night. So sit back, relax, and I'll see you around the corner. Here's the chicken. I just put some turmeric and of course my Greek seasoning. Put it on low, let it cook all day. There's the finished product. Again, I don't know what happened in my footage. I made some noodles, green beans, and there's the chicken. This meal was delicious. Tonight, I'm gonna to be making some chicken noodle soup. I had some leftover chicken, and I hope that um, that video turns out that I video. Um, I'm learning, so we'll just learn this together. So, but I took the leftovers, and I think tonight we'll make some chicken noodle soup. I have this beef, break, beef base, chicken base that we're gonna use. I have five cups of water already in here with I have two, um, three more right here we're just going to add a little bit of this flavoring in there to I don't want to add too much because of the chicken is already seasoned so I have this little wooden spoon that I use and I think it's about a teaspoon so we'll just add three of those I'm gonna stir it up. Just kind of makes your own. I make my own chicken broth like this. Um, it's cheaper than buying the um, already chicken broth already in the containers at any store. And then I'm gonna add this to here. And then we're going to cut this chicken up and add it in there and let it boil. Okay, we got that chicken to a rolling boil. Now we're going to add a bag of frozen mixed vegetables. We're going to give that a quick stir and then I'm going to add some egg noodles. I buy those egg noodles at Sam's. I absolutely love them. They don't get mushy. My cup only held four cups. I just pulled another cup and a half right out of the bag. Um, those I just put in there, put the lid on the Dutch oven and let them sit and marinate. That Dutch oven stays hot. It'll marinate all of those juices in those noodles and the flavor is just to die for. At the end, right before we get ready to eat it, I'll add those mixed greens in there just to give it some color. This is so delicious and turned out so yummy. Here's the finished product. Look at that. It's so, it doesn't take very long. I love my Dutch ovens and how they do. And here we go, served up in a bowl. I added some pepper and then we'll eat it with some crackers. But that's dinner. All right guys, let's make some crock pot chili. I lost the beginning of the footage, so we're just gonna use what we have and we're gonna go with it. We're gonna add one pound of ground beef to the chili. We usually purchase a cow every year, so I love the fresh beef. We're going to add two cans of red kidney beans. We also like to add a can of black beans into our chili as well. I didn't have any onions unfortunately, so I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of chopped minced onions to um, the chili this evening. It's just easier and quicker. I add one can of tomato paste. To me this thickens up helps thicken it. I had tomatoes already chopped up and I'm going to go ahead and add some pureed tomatoes. 
Um, what we like to eat with our chili when it's done, you'll see right there, the toast, cheese, peanut butter, and cheese crackers. It just saves us from making peanut butter sandwiches, and it's already there. You have the cheese, crackers, and the peanut butter. We love it. And then last but not least, we're going to add two packages of the mild chili. I add one package to my hamburger as I'm frying it up, and then I add the other one into the crock pot. All right, let's get our ground beef browned up, and we'll start making the chili. I'm going to add this tomato paste and then I'm going to add a third of a can of warm water. This is just going to thin out a little bit of that tomato paste and kind of just help stir it all up in there. It'll still have the thickness that I like. Then we added the last packet of our chili seasoning. We're going to give this a quick stir, put the lid on it and let it um, cook low from three to four hours. And then we're going to enjoy some chili. What we like to have on ours is I added some chives and some cheddar cheese and we just enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the corner. This chili cooked for three to four hours and on low and then I put it in one of my little crock pot bowls with the handle, added some chives and some cheddar cheese. It was yummy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the corner.